Vegans are rich, white assholes. What's up everyone, I'm Danish and welcome back to my channel, That Vocal Vegan. I'm gonna go through this phrase and try to debunk some of these stereotypes and then you can let me know if I've convinced you in the comments below. And so before we even begin, I totally understand where these stereotypes come from. I've been guilty of thinking of it too. And I mean, to be honest, in my experience, the media tends to portray vegans as people who are white, upper class, privileged, and live in the suburbs. But let's see if that represents reality. Vegans are rich. Danish, how are you gonna debunk this? Have you seen the price of Beyond Meat? Vegan cheese? That is expensive. Oh wait a second. According to this research, in the US, you're twice as likely to be vegan if you're in a lower income household than if you're in a higher income household. But how can this be? Are people in lower income brackets just biting the bullet and carrying the whole vegan movement on their backs? Well, speaking from personal experience, my grocery bill plummeted when I went vegan. The most expensive stuff that I used to buy was meat. But I replaced meat with the cheapest stuff in the grocery stores. Bags of lentils, beans, chickpeas. In the US, you can get a can of beans for less than a dollar and a two pound bag of brown rice for under a dollar fifty and if you think about it the cheapest stuff in the supermarket is the vegan stuff bags of potatoes beans rice vegetables fruits so let's just do some quick food math just to get a rough estimate one can of black beans on walmart.com runs you about 72 cents and it has approximately 455 calories also from walmart.com an equal amount of calories worth of chicken thighs is one dollar 83 cents which means that the chicken is 2.5 five times as expensive for the same amount of calories. And you may be thinking, but what about the protein? Don't worry, I got you covered. The 72 cents can of beans has 20 grams of protein. To get the same amount of protein from the chicken would cost you around 97 cents. So for the same amount of protein, the cost of buying chickens would be about 35% more expensive. And feel free to check my math down in the comments. And I totally understand the argument that it's not just about calories and protein. I just mentioned those because I would imagine that most people would initially focus on those two. And it's really just to give an initial read on the comparison. Debug Your Brain has an awesome video going into a full breakdown of a similar comparison. It's worth checking out. Plus the editing is like way better than mine. And it's also worth noting that now, especially with food prices rising so much, especially in the United States, doing some of these swaps could really help you save money. And according to this Contour study, on average, plant-based meals eaten at home cost 40% less than meat or fish-based meals and take about one-third less time to prepare. So as long as you're sticking to a whole food plant-based diet, you'll be saving money. And on top of that, the study from Oxford found that in high income countries, vegan diets were the most affordable and reduced food costs by up to one third. In the essence of fairness though, my understanding of this study is not that your grocery bill is gonna go down by a third, but that the global cost of food would go down by a third. This study includes reduction in public health spending and costs associated with climate change. Still, pretty promising stuff if you ask me. Vegans are white. I have been looking a little bit lighter lately. Like I mentioned earlier, the phrase vegan carries a lot of connotations. In my experience, one of those is vegans being white. But again, I get where it comes from. There's this white vegan stereotype you see in the movies and media. Usually the most visible vegans are white. However, according to this, in the United States, black Americans are about three times as likely to be vegan or vegetarian. And if you think about it, the concept of not harming animals for food is something that's always been really prevalent in non-Western cultures. Let's take a look at how Earthling Ed puts it. Could you have to understand? Veganism is very much a white colonized thought. It well, very much is. Well, people say that, but then also people say that when you look at the roots of non-harming animals for diets, it's deep rooted in places like, like Hindu cultures and Jainist cultures. And so the idea of abstaining from eating animals is very much deep rooted in kind of like Buddhist, uh, Hindu and Jainist cultures and, and not necessarily in a white colonialist process at least. Vegan activist, soy theist, is a relevant example of someone who talks about their vegan experience as someone living in India. Vegans are Polls. Okay, so this one might be true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean, seriously, some people are more vocal about veganism than others. I'll do my best to help give that vegan perspective. I think it's important to understand why vegans might behave in ways that could be labeled as extreme or aggressive. After all, it's just a diet, right? Why aren't keto people so militant? And I think the simplest way to explain this is think about a Facebook video, <laughs> for those of you who are still on Facebook, where someone is beating a dog and all the comments are, that person should go to jail. Or comments wishing ill on that person. And even if we don't all agree with all the reactions, we can at least empathize and understand why people would make comments that could be labeled 
extreme and aggressive. And in general, can't speak for everyone, vegans will question why we feel such anger because of what happens to dogs in those videos, but not because of what happens to animals in slaughterhouses. And after all, as bad as kicking a dog is, what if we took that same dog and dragged a knife across their throat and chopped them into pieces? That's worse, isn't it? So if you can understand people being vocal and angry about dogs or cats or dolphins or rabbits or horses being abused, perhaps you can see how vegans would extend the same outrage to all animals and be passionate about defending all of them, especially the ones in the slaughterhouses. All right, everyone, well, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content of this video and you wanna see more, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. It would make a huge impact on a small little channel like mine. Let me know what you thought of the video and if you think I've successfully debunked some of your preconceived notions. Or also let me know if you still think I'm a rich, white asshole. <laughs>